this retreat is our way of recognizing as we journey after 2021, as we journey towards tomorrow, we want in a special way the dawning of the Holy Spirit, the age of the Spirit, to be the guiding force for all of us. In the spirit of gratitude, synodality, in the spirit that makes us one, brothers as brothers and sisters, we want to be guided that all of us who thank the Lord for the various gifts may be able to put the gifts in the service of one another and may be able to journey towards tomorrow with hope despite the many concerns that affect us, despite the many trials that are part of daily life. We are believers that because God is with us and because the Holy Spirit sanctifies us, because the Holy Spirit strengthens us, we can face tomorrow with hope. So once again, the God can salamat. Let me read the message of the president of CBCB, Bishop Pablo Virgilio David. My dear brother priest, Grace and peace be with you in our Lord Jesus Christ. It is with great joy and enthusiasm that I write to invite and encourage you to participate in the upcoming National Retreat for Priest 2023 on November 7 to 9, 2023 at the International Eucharistic Congress Convention Center in Cebu, organized by the CBCP Episcopal Commission on Clergy, this retreat with the theme Priesthood, a call to holiness, promises to be a deeply enriching and spiritually rejuvenating experience for all our priests. In this Synodal journey together in our shared vocation as priests, it is essential to take time for personal reflection, renewal, and recommitment to the sacred calling we have received from Jesus Christ, our High Priest. The National Retreat for Priests provides a sacred space and an opportunity for us to gather as brothers in Christ to support and encourage one another and to delve deeply into the profound mysteries of our priestly vocation. I earnestly request your presence and active participation in this significant gathering of priests from all corners of our beloved country. Your unique presence and contribution will undoubtedly enrich our collective experience and foster deeper communion among us. I entrust you and your ministry to the loving care of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Priests, and I assure you of my prayers for you and your intentions. Devotedly in the Lord, Pablo Virgilio David, Bishop of Caloocan, President of Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines. To his every word, give voice to live and heal the people. Jesus, you've called me to your feast, my friend. 
bread, my brother and my God. With you I journey as your priest, my hands you've oiled, my feet you've shot. Take me over plains and mountains to preach the peace born of the gospel. Mindless of time till evening give me pains. Jesus, you called me to your feast, my friend. My brother and my God, with you I journey as your priest, my hands you on, my feet you shot. This heart that beats for Christ alone, that shares the spear that Pierced his side, he's by the marvelous light that shone on Easter morning, sanctified. Jesus, you called me to your feet. My brother and my God, with you I journey as your priest, my hands you on, my feet you shod. With you I journey as your priest, my hands you on, my feet. Touch and hold the Lord. Which represent the 120 active bishops in the Philippines. And we have around 11,000 priests, Catholic priests serving around 16 ecclesiastical provinces and uh, serving around 80 million Catholics in our country. I feel that that prayer is the most appropriate welcome for all of us. That prayer reminds us that we are all in the hands of God and that our coming together is a preparation for something wonderful, which is also in the plan of God. Oh, God.